Hey there, welcome back to another CSS animation tutorial. In today's video, I am going to create an eye-catching website navigation bar using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. By the end of this video you will learn, designing the navigation bar, CSS animation basics smooth animation effect. So, without further delay let's dive into tutorial. The basic project structure will involve HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files, and include the jQuery and FontAwesome plugins. Create a navigation bar using HTML and hyperlink elements, this code just renders the hyperlinks by listing down with bullet points. Remove default spacing of all the elements, this setting makes layout calculations more accurate. Set size, background, and font properties to the body element. Enable the Flexbox layout to the body and align its content to the center of the Flexbox. Remove the default properties of the list element. Enable the Flexbox layout to the unordered list and align all list items to the center. Set the padding, width, and z-index properties to the list element and align its text to the center. Set the background color, padding border radius to the navbar. And set padding space around the navbar elements. Remove the default properties of the hyperlink element and set the font styling properties. Include div element to the unordered list for highlighting the menu selection. Set size, position, padding border radius properties. Highlight the background color with linear gradient CSS property. Set the position of the menu highlighter and set to the first menu by default. Change the class, active, as per the menu selection using JavaScript, this makes the highlighter to place on the right menu item. Add transition property for all the CSS changes of the menu highlight, which enables smooth transition between two positions. Set the background color as per the direction of the menu selection which is just handled by setting two different classes, forward and backward, by JavaScript. This method executes each time when click on the menu item. Here we are storing index of the previous selection and comparing with the current one. If the current index is greater than the last index, append the class, forward, if the current index is lesser than the last index, append the class, backward. Hope this tutorial is helpful and you're excited to add this navigation bar to your websites. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more exciting content, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching, keep shining in the world of web design.